now we're looking at applications of solving systems of linear equations. In this triad exercise, we're told that the Community College Fine Arts Department sold three kinds of tickets to its latest dance. Uh, the adult ticket sold for $20, the student ticket sold for $12, and the child ticket sold for $10. The Fine Arts Department was thrilled to have sold 350 tickets and brought in $4,650 in one night. The number of child tickets sold is the same as the number of adult tickets sold. So how much of each type did the department sell? So let's go ahead and, and first we'll define our variables. So let's say adult tickets, we'll call that A. Student tickets, we'll call that S. And child tickets, we'll call that C. So we've got three unknowns, which means we want to develop three equations. So let's go ahead and write out those three equations. Based on the given information, we have the adult tickets sold for $20, student tickets for $12, and child tickets for $10 and they sold 350 tickets. So the first thing we know is that if the number of each type of ticket is the variable, so we know that A plus S plus C, we know that equals 350. The number of adult tickets plus the number of student tickets plus the number of children's tickets equals 350. Now we also know that they brought in $4,650 in one night. So 20 times A plus 12 times S plus 10 times C equals 4,650. And then finally we'll tr we're told that the number of tickets sold, children tickets sold, child tickets sold, is the same as the number of ad adult tickets sold. So we know that A equals C. Well, that just means if we move the C to the other side by subtracting, A minus C equals 0. So A minus C equals 0. So here's our system of three equations and three unknowns. Uh, what do we want to do? How, how are we going to... Uh, eliminate variables, how are we going to solve this system of equations? Well, what I'm going to start with is the first and second equations. I'm going to eliminate, because it's already eliminated in this third equation, I'm going to eliminate the S variable, the number of student tickets sold. And how I'm going to do that is I want to multiply this first equation by 12. So 12A plus 12S plus 12C equals 350 times 12. Which in this case, if we multiply... 350 times 10 is 3,500, and then 350 times 2 is 700. So 3,500 plus 700 is going to be 4,200. And we still have 20A plus 12S plus 10C equals 4,650. Now I'm going to subtract the second equation. So again, I'll change this and then change the sign. So this is going to be a minus, this is going to be a minus, this is going to be a minus, and this is going to be a minus. Uh, you can do it whatever way that you want to do it as long as the calculations are correct. I always like to change the outside to a plus and then change the sign of everything on the inside of the parentheses. So 12a minus 20a, that's negative 8a. 12s minus 12s, that's 0. 12c minus 10c is 2c. And then 4,200 minus 4,650, that's negative 450. So now we have an equation with just a and c 
So we can bring down our third equation. Actually, I'm going to rewrite this up here after I do this. If I have a minus c, if I want to eliminate a, I'm going to want to multiply this by 8. So if I rewrite this up here, my first equation is negative 8a plus 2c equals negative 450. And then distributing that 8, I have 8a minus 8c, and that's still going to equal 0. So adding these two equations, negative 8a plus 8a is 0. 2c minus 8c is negative 6c. And negative 450 plus 0 is negative 450. Divide both sides by negative 6, and we get c equals 75. So the number of children's tickets, the number of child tickets sold was 75. Well, we know that A equals C, so that also means that A equals 75. And now we can use any of our uh, equations that involve S, so we know A plus S plus C equals 350. So we know 75 plus S plus 75 equals 350. So that's S plus 150 equals 350, which means that S equals 200. So, tentatively, our solution is the department sold 75 adult tickets, 200 student tickets and 75 child tickets. Well, we know our third equation is correct. 75 minus 75 equals 0. What about the other two? Well, 75 plus 75 plus 200 is 350, so we know the first equation checks out. So what about the second equation? 20 times 75 plus 12 times 200 plus 10 times 75, that equals 1,500 plus 2,400 plus 750, that equals 3,900 plus 750, which does equal 4,650, so our solution checks. And we can say that it's true that the department sold 75 adult tickets, 200 student tickets, and 75 child tickets.